Hi folks. Can you guess what it is? Oh, I better not do that, it's Rolf Harris, isn't it? No, I can't say that, can I? <laughs> you guess what it is yet? Hi folks. Do you know what that is? It's a Big Mac. We've been down to buy that from McDonald's because we believe that we can actually create one ourselves, don't we? We do. We've done it before, but we haven't done the burgers in the air fryer and we're gonna make the special sauce as well. So stick with us, we'll have a look at this and then we'll see if we can replicate it. In the air fryer, baby. Yeah, get the air fryer out. Right, so this is a Big Mac, folks. We bought this earlier on today. This one was actually put together pretty well for a change, wasn't That's it? It's the nicest Big Mac I've seen. Although the time. bun is a bit dry, I'll give you that. The bun is a bit dry and it arrived cracked like that as well. So that's the Big Mac, folks. So for us to do that, let's show you the ingredients we're gonna be playing with today and also how we're gonna be creating this burger sauce. which is supposed to be a special recipe, but I think we found out how to do it. <laughs> but we're gonna make a modification to our one because there's a lot of sugar in theirs yeah. and we won't be putting that in ours. No good. Here's the ingredients to our Big Mac replica. We are using two quarter pounder burgers, some sesame seed burger buns, some shredded lettuce, some finely chopped white onion, some pickled gherkin slices and some thin processed cheese slices. To make the burger sauce, you will need one half a cup of mayonnaise, one half a tablespoon of white vinegar, two tablespoons of finely chopped gherkins, one half a teaspoon of onion powder, one half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one half a teaspoon of paprika, and one half a tablespoon of mild yellow mustard. Okay, so we're going to be using a mayonnaise and we're going to be needing half a cup of that. So Sharon's going to fill that little half a cup up. That's it. That looks about right, doesn't it? Yeah. Just level that out a bit, folks. So that goes into our mixing bowl there. We're only going to give you the, the cup measurements, it's not worth it, you can convert it I suppose, but um, I might put that in the... Oh, 125 mil, it says here on the... Well, there you go, 125 mil or half a cup. So in goes our half a teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder and paprika. And apparently, I never knew this, there's no ketchup in, um, no, we ketchup in the burger sauce. <laughs> It's half a tablespoon of white vinegar. So, so half a tablespoon of white vinegar, Dist white distilled vinegar, I think they call that. So we've got half a tablespoon of this sort of American based yellow mustard, folks. So whack that in as well. And the final thing is, I think the Americans call them sweet pickles, Sharon, don't they? Sweet relish. Sweet relish or whatever, but we've got, uh, did you dice this up? Yeah. These are literally just gherkins, which are in the actual sauce. And uh, so we're just gonna whack them in that's there. That's actually three slices, because I brought the slice gherkin, that's three slices there. I've right, so up. in they go. Now, as I say, if it was the American version, which we're not doing, we're not putting the sugar in. They put a tablespoon full of sugar in as well. We're not gonna go with that. We're gonna just go for this, because we don't like the extra sweetness. And that's why, Cheryl, my blood sugar, whenever I have a McDonald's, shoots right up, doesn't it? Mm. I've always said that, not realising what it was, and there's your reason. They put extra sugar in the sauces. So that's the sauce done now, yeah? That's it. Is it? That is it. Let's have a go, hold on. Oh my God. Right, let's have a go at this then. I can actually say, I can taste the Big Mac. Really? Yeah. I'm going to have a go, folks. I wouldn't do what you've done, though. What? It's a teaspoon. Mmm. <laughs> it's it, isn't it? That tastes like a McDonald's sauce. You don't need the extra sweetness in there, so you wouldn't know that don't was put McDonald's. the sugar in, folks. Right, let's that, stick that that's in. That's brilliant, fridge. that works. All right, okay. While we get on with it, I can't believe how that is the same. Of course it don't. I'm going to have that bit, yeah. Right, so we've got these uh, quarter pounder burgers, folks. Now, these are actually bigger than what you get in a McDonald's burger. I think they're only about three ounces, the ones. So, not a quarter pounder, they're a little bit smaller. So, let's get these open, shall we? Get the old knife around there. And to make it replicate a burger, Sharon, as you'll probably know, folks, if I open up the Big Mac and take that burger out, can you see how thin that burger is? I think it's like a three ounce burger, I'm not too sure, but that's a quarter pounder. So what we're gonna do to replicate that, we're gonna fold that over and then just palm it down, shall? Push it down, baby. Just to flatten it down a bit, like that. Now don't forget folks, these will shrink back as well. 
So it might look a bit big. You could have cut it in half. But they will shrink back. Yeah, but we're making a superior Big Mac, aren't we? So that is what we're going to use as one burger. So we're going to do that twice right. with another one. We'll put them in the air fryer, we'll cook them off, and then we'll get the buns and sort the buns out afterwards. So let's just do that. Give it a good press down, baby. Use your palm. Right, okay. So let's get that in the Elkasauri. So we're just gonna pull them up, folks, and literally just lay them in there, like that. They look way bigger, as you can see from the normal burger. So we just lay that in there. They will shrink up, and we'll use the presets, shall we? How about that? That's the meat preset up there, folks. Look, so I'm gonna press that, 205 for six minutes, and press start. So we'll see how that goes, while Sharon just does another one prepared, so yeah. We want to replicate them thin burgers, folks. Look, like that. I've seen people make these before, and it's stacked up really hard. So hopefully, these are going to sort of be nearer the mark. Right, so while we're waiting for them burgers to cook off, folks, there's only five minutes left on them. So we've got these buns. They're pretty similar, I suppose. Although the burger, the McDonald's one, feels a bit blinking, you know? But they're pretty similar. These are a lot, I think, a bit thicker. So we'll use a top and a bottom, like that, but with one of these ones, we'll cut that down again, but obviously this one wants to be a bit thinner, so we're gonna waste half of a roll, but we're literally just... Well, you can put the other half in another roll. Yeah, you can do, I suppose, yeah. So we've got our three buns here now, as you can see, folks, and lucky enough, we've got a proper McDonald's burger there, which we can see the way that they stack it, so, eh? It's a bit toasted. Yeah. We could toast it a little bit, I suppose, baby, you're right. So yeah, we're gonna just toast these a little bit, folks, first of all. Right, so we toasted the bun there, folks, just on one side, not on the bottom side. So we're gonna go in, first of all, with some of our burger sauce. Just plonk that in the middle, take it out to the edges. We can be a bit more generous with ours. We've not got no sugar in ours, you see, so just whack that along like that. Okay, then we're gonna put on our lettuce, just like the uh, proper bun. There we go. And then we've got our cheese there, which we're just going to lay on top. And now we're going to get our burgers out. We have put some more in there as well, folks, and we have turned them over as well. So let's get the burgers out. Right, so that's one of the ones that, and as you can see, folks, they did shrink up as well. So plonk that on the top there, shall we? See what I mean about them shrinking up and how much better it is now that they're thinner. So after we've put a, that on, we then get our other toasted bun. So we plonk that on there like that, push it down a bit. And on top of that goes some more sauce, lettuce and gherkins. So you whack the sauce on, shall we? Whack it on there, that's it, spread it about. Get it going to the edges. We're taking a bit more pride in our one, folks, than the, uh, the original. So that's that, so now on with the lettuce. There we go, yeah, go on, whack it on. And this is the old gherkin, shall we? So get the old gherkin slices. Now I think they put three, or two, two or three, so we're gonna go for two there. We haven't got the round ones, folks, we bought them in strips. So then we're gonna go on top with the old onions, Sharon. I think the onions go on top there. Happy days. And then the bun goes on the top I there. I want the burger. Oh, of course we want the burger. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> and the second burger goes on the top, folks. And is there another cheese? No, there is not another yeah. cheese on there. I always thought there was two cheeses, but there isn't. So on the top now. Folks, I'll give you our Big Mac. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, folks, here we go. I must say, I think our one looks far superior. But as you know yourself, the proof is in the pudding. We're not gonna have a go with the normal one. We know what that tastes like. Let's cut this one down the middle, Sharon. She's also cooked some skin on fries as well. Look, we've done them in our deep fat fryer, folks, just to replicate the uh, McDonald's one. Mmm. Let's have a little look at the cost section of this, folks. There you go, folks. Now I want you to tell me what you think of that, Sharon. I want you to go in. Full metal jacket. Go on, there you go. Well? There's more flavour straight away. You're joking. No. What do you think? Look at that, look folks, look. Look at that little baby. What's the sauce like? You wouldn't know it wasn't McDonald's sauce actually. For saying that there's no sugar in it, you'd never know. It's amazing. You're going in again, aren't you? Oh. 
Oh, I've got a shower. Can I come around and get in? I want to get involved in the action. I've been looking forward to this, folks. I really have. Now, we all like a Big Mac, don't we? This is they, they, this, this ain't just food, shower. It's M&S food. Martin and Sharon food. <laughs> I'm going in, folks. I've got to go in. Full metal jacket, everything. I want the lot. Oh, oh Darren, do you know what? We tried to make a Big Mac before and we did do a video on it, folks. That, that is a winner because that is what I call a Big Mac. The sauce is just right. You're not left wanting because them small thin patties which you got in there, you can taste them and they're monsters. They're monsters, they're quarter pounders. That's a full half pound of burger there, folks. All the little things coming together. The lettuce cut in shards, like the thin way they do it. Little bits of onion in there but as well. There's more flavour because of the onion. But the meat is far superior, even though it's probably a supermarket burger, Sharon. But the meat is really flavoursome as well. But that sauce and having that triple layer and getting your gob around three big buns. I'm going in again. That is by far the best copy of oh. McDonald's sauce. Oh. I don't oh. know why you'd put sugar in it. I'll tell you what, folks. Once you've got that sauce, cook yourself up some fries as well. You can get the same replica ones down in Bling Little, Sharon. Mm. The, the thin ones for about 85 pence a bag. A couple of decent burgers, get the seeded buns, just do what we've done there and you're gonna save a lot of money on going down to takeaway, believe me. Folks, have a go, sort it out, get involved, get it in the air fryer, flatten them burgers out the way I showed you, and that will make all the difference to putting one of these together. We're gonna to go now, because I've got to eat this, Sharon. I've got my Jimmy and Charlotte's. Of course she has, and someone can have that McDonald's, that burger, that cost, how much was that? I bought us a meal, it was six pound. Oh, had the chips, Jesus didn't she? Christ. She had the chips Four and quarter pounders there, folks. Anyway, we're gonna go, because I've got to eat this, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to take them as well, show a little potato for us. See you in the next video, folks. Don't forget to check out our other stuff we've we got, playlists of. And you're, you're going to love this. If you like a McDonald's, you're going to love this. That's all I can say. Give it a go. Get it cooking in the air fry, flatten them out. I've said it before, show. I've got to go. I'm delirious. <laughs>